All right, everyone, uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so uh, like I said earlier, uh, my name is Dylan Lusk, and this is the weekly weather briefing for Thursday, November 21st. All right, so a couple of highlights um, just to get started with. So we're going to have rain increasing across the state late Friday through Saturday. Uh, that'll end from west to east on Saturday. And we'll talk about some of the different timing about that and uh, when you can expect the bulk of that to move through over the weekend. Uh, we've also got uh, potential for a few storms on Saturday. Um, this is a really minor threat. Um, right now, the Storm Prediction Center only has us in a general thunderstorm for that time. Uh, however, uh, looking at some of the model data, data and stuff like that, we could see an upgrade uh, to, say, a marginal risk or something like that. The primary threat for that would be gusty uh, slash damaging winds uh, if we do see any storms from this. Um, we're also expecting near seasonal levels for temperatures, so we're not really expecting any kind of major cold outbreaks or any kind of heat waves or anything like that over the next week. We've got another storm system that I'll briefly touch on that's going to affect the area next week getting into the Thanksgiving holiday. Um, there's still a lot of uncertainty around this in terms of the timing. Uh, we've got a couple of different models that are showing us a couple of different things. So um, we'll kind of touch on it, give you an idea of at least when we're expecting things to move through uh, at this moment. But keep in mind, like I said, there's a lot of uncertainty still around it. Uh, last, we'll give you another update on the drought. Uh, more good news, honestly. We continue to see improvements for drought across pretty much all of Georgia. Uh, we actually now have more than half the state uh, no longer considered to be abnormally dry or in any drought condition whatsoever. And we're actually down to uh, around a quarter of the state is in uh, what would be considered moderate drought. So we've made some substantial progress on chipping away at the drought across the region. All right, so we'll open up with this. This is our uh, current satellite picture from earlier this morning. Um, just kind of want to show you that to give you a general picture of uh, our next storm system that's moving in. So over the desert southwest region over here in California, Nevada, that area, uh, you can see this kind of nice little spin over here. This is uh, basically the low pressure system that is going to affect us uh, Friday into Saturday. Um, out ahead of that, you can kind of see here there's been a lot of moisture that is kind of streaming northward. So we're getting lots of clouds uh, out ahead of it. And so um, because this is kind of taking its sweet time moving across the country, uh, we're going to see chances of rain across our area both Friday and Saturday. It'll take all the way into, say, Sunday morning before really all the uh, precipitation uh, moves out of our state. So here's kind of what that looks like. Uh, first, we have our chance of precipitation on Friday. So we're really expecting things to kind of start to ramp up. Uh, at least for northern Georgia starting Friday morning. So we could see a couple of uh, basically some rain showers slash uh, potentially some steady rain moving through that area. Uh, getting down in towards the metro, we have a small chance through the day on Friday. We can't roll out uh, isolated passing shower or something like that. Uh, but for the most part, it should be dry down this way. And we're expecting not much of anything into central Georgia. As we move into Friday night, um, things start to kind of uh, ramp up a little bit more. And so uh, we're expecting the bulk of the precipitation to move into northern Georgia. Uh, and our precipitation chances kind of ramp up from west to east from there, uh, or I should say really from west to east and north to south. And so uh, in the Atlanta metro area, for instance, we've got about a 70% chance of rain. So we really expect the precipitation to start moving into the metro uh, into Friday night especially into Saturday morning and Saturday itself. So as you can see, the bulk of the precipitation uh, should affect us on Saturday. Uh, these are pretty high uh, chances of precipitation, upwards of 90%. We're very, very confident at this point that we're going to see rain across most of North and Central Georgia on Saturday. Um, I'll show you a simulated radar uh, from one of our models in a second, just to give you a better idea of what this kind of looks like. But I will go ahead and say um, we have one kind of wave of precip that moves through during the day on Saturday across North Georgia. And then there'll be a front that is pushing through with this. And then we'll get a second wave uh, kind of south of the metro of precipitation. 
and uh, that'll kind of fire along that cold front. And that's where we could potentially get a couple of thunderstorms on the day on Saturday. Uh, Saturday night, uh, that's when things start to really kind of move out. So for uh, North Georgia and the Atlanta metro area, uh, our chances of precipitation start to wind down dramatically. Uh, and this is just basically the cold front moves through. Uh, once that cold front moves through, we get drier, cooler air that comes in behind it. And so our chances of precipitation uh, wind down pretty quickly. Um, that will progress towards the east. So over here in some of our uh, southeastern counties uh, for our forecast area, uh, we will still have uh, some decent chances for precipitation with that. But that uh, front will continue moving east. And as we get into uh, Sunday, uh, we have almost uh, no chances of precipitation across uh, our area and really across most of the state, uh, uh, which includes our kind of partners out here in Charleston and Columbia and other places that are forecasting for those counties. They also have the storm system moving out by, um, by Sunday as well, or Saturday night into Sunday morning. So um, here's kind of the simulated radar that I was talking about. Uh, I do want to emphasize as I, or as I should say, we always do here with any simulated radar. This is just one model's forecast. Reality will be different. So please don't use this for exact precipitation timing or anything like that. Uh, just get a general range uh, in terms of um, when it's possible you could see precip and how heavy it could be for you. Um, so with that, um, this is now getting kind of towards the end of the loop, so we'll let it restart here in just a second. But it starts on uh, Friday, so right about now, about 3 p.m. Uh, that's when the first kind of wave, at least in this model, moves in for northern Georgia. And so we see a couple of different waves of precip that move across northern Georgia uh, as we go uh, into Friday evening and over Friday night. And then as we start to get into Saturday morning, uh, you'll see kind of coming out of Alabama there, uh, another big wave of precip that goes across most of north and central Georgia. So this is kind of, as I was saying, the bulk of precip that we expect to fire across that area. Then a cold front comes in. There's a couple of storms that potentially uh, happen across uh, especially areas, uh, say, around Athens, down towards Macon, those areas that are associated with that cold front. And behind that, we kind of have dry air moving in. And so uh, as that cold front passes you on Saturday, uh, your chances of rain will basically decrease substantially. This is how much we're expecting to get out of this across the state. So as you can see, North Georgia is kind of our winners for this one. Uh, we're expecting upwards of uh, two inches in some areas in North Georgia. Generally, we've got anywhere from one inch to about, uh, in some cases, upwards of three inches. Um, as we get down towards the metro, uh, we're expecting about an inch to an inch and a half. And then uh, same with Athens. And then as we keep going south, uh, our precip, the amount at least of precip that we get really trails off from there. And hopefully you could kind of see that from our from the simulated radar that we had on earlier. The bulk of those waves of precip right now are expected to happen across North Georgia. So that's where they're going to get the most rain. Um, and then really as we move southward, if you don't have, say, one of those uh, showers or thunderstorms that pops up along the cold front on Saturday hits you, uh, you may not see any precipitation at all. And at the very least, um, you're not going to see, you know, tremendously heavy precipitation from any of this uh, across central into southern Georgia. Um, so here is the Storm Prediction Center's uh, day three. So this would be valid on uh, Saturday. Uh, this is kind of their thunderstorm outlook. So right now they've got a good chunk of the state painted in what they call their general thunder. So basically this is just highlighting any area where they uh, expect any thunderstorm whatsoever to be thought to be possible. So they've got they've went ahead and highlighted most of Georgia, as I said, with the possibility of a thunderstorm. Um, over the next day or two, as you know, more model data continues to come in and they continue to analyze the situation, it is possible that they could upgrade us to say a marginal risk or something like that. Um, the primary threat with any thunderstorms that do end up being severe on Saturday right now would be gusty or damaging winds. Um, as of this moment, we're not expecting any kind of hail threat and we're not expecting any kind of tornado threat. 
All right, so uh, looking ahead, our full seven-day temperature forecast uh, for the area, or at least I should say for our four main climate sites, um, Atlanta, Athens, Columbus, Columbus and Macon. Um, temperatures, as we said earlier, are going to be pretty seasonable to downright nice, uh, frankly. Uh, you can see we've got uh, here in Atlanta, for instance, we've got three days in a row in which the temperatures are in the mid-60s. Uh, I call that perfect weather, personally, but um, some people may beg to differ, I don't know. But um, you can see that temperatures fall off a little bit on Sunday, uh, and that's that cold front kind of moving through on Saturday that uh, I was talking about earlier. And so behind that, we'll have a little bit cooler temperatures down into the uh, mid-50s to upper 50s and uh, getting down into, say, the lower 60s uh, down towards central Georgia there in Columbus and Macon. Uh, and then we'll kind of see a gradual warm up uh, from there, uh, even though, I mean, you know, relatively speaking, given that uh, we'll take 50s over 30s any day of the week around here. All right, so uh, as I said also earlier, we do have a chance of rain in the midweek uh, next week. So that, of course, would be right around the Thanksgiving holiday. Um, this is just a quick snapshot of uh, basically Tuesday night uh, in one of our models. In this case, it's the European model that we're looking at. And so um, you can see over Tennessee and Kentucky and down here in Alabama and Georgia, we do have a kind of low pressure system that's right here. And there is some rain, very light rain, that is associated with that over, say, sections of North uh, Georgia, and so uh, that's kind of what we've been seeing out of a lot of the a lot of the models. Uh, we've been seeing these kind of weak low pressure systems that form and then give us a little bit of light precipitation sometime, uh, usually Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, however, there's been a lot of variability around exactly how much or exactly uh, when that's expected to happen, and so there's still just kind of want to highlight that there's still a lot of uncertainty around those amounts and timing. That being said, as of right now, um, it doesn't look like anything that would be terribly impactful uh, in terms of flooding or winter precipitation or anything like that. Uh, it shouldn't be anything that's too disruptive to, uh, say, the Thanksgiving travel and things like that. All right, uh, last, we'll take a look at the drought summary. So um, we continue to see pretty significant improvements as we've been getting kind of these weekly to biweekly uh, rain events that have been happening that, that have been kind of perfect for us in terms of kind of helping to slowly erode this drought away. And so uh, we're now down to over half the state is now, in, is now not in any drought category whatsoever. Uh, and in terms of moderate drought, uh, we're down to about 25% of the state, and our only severe drought uh, remaining is less than 2% of the state. So we've really done a number on this. Um, hopefully, the rains that we're getting uh, Friday and Saturday, as well as the rains next week, will continue to kind of erode away at this. And um, if we get enough rain, hopefully we can finally see those uh, severe drought areas drop out completely, which would be wonderful news. Um, we do have a drought information statement that is being uh, that has been generated today, so you can check that out at our website at the link that you see down there in the bottom right. All right, so just to summarize again, we've got rain increasing across the state late Friday through Saturday, and that's going to end from west. Uh, excuse me, that's going to end from west to east on Saturday. Uh, we have a few storms possible on Saturday. Primary threat from that would be gusty, damaging winds. Uh, we're expecting near seasonal levels for temperatures. And then we have another storm system that will affect our area sometime mid next week, uh, though there's still a lot of uncertainty around that. Um, last, uh, as we just said, we're seeing improvements to the drought across most of Georgia, and hopefully that will continue. So, um, if you need to connect with us, uh, we're always here, staff 24-7. Uh, just a friendly reminder, uh, that's our phone number right there. Uh, we're happy to take your call. Uh, this briefing will be up on our weather briefing page. It should already be there in both a PDF and PowerPoint format. Um, our website is always up. You can get your uh, latest forecast there. Uh, we try to stay on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, we're always monitoring those as well. And this briefing will be uploaded to YouTube later today. 
And so with that, um, I will take any questions that you may have.